Well, Betsy, it's that time again. Time to check in with what's moving the needle in Hollywood. We call it our pop break, and here's Stephanie Haney with that. After two weeks in quarantine, actor Tom Hanks and singer Rita Wilson say they're feeling better. In a Facebook post, Tom made it a point to say, sheltering in place works. Rita, who is understandably going a little stir crazy, is passing the time by rapping the lyrics to Naughty by Nature's Hip Hip Hooray. I live and die for hip hop. This is hip hop for today. I give props to hip hop. So hip hop hooray. Ho. And the group gave her performance an excellent review. The girls got range. A get well letter Barack Obama sent to B.B. King back in 2015, just about one month before he died, is now for sale and expected to bring big bucks. The King of Blues granddaughter is selling the signed note on presidential letterhead for $17,500. Since we can't really celebrate birthdays in person right now, the social media tribute post is really having a moment. Happy birthday, dearie. Celebs like Laura Dern, Mindy Kaling, and artist Kyra Kendall shared birthday wishes for Reese Witherspoon on Sunday. Jennifer Aniston sent virtual hugs, and Carrie Washington blew online kisses in a throwback post with the birthday girl herself. And while Live with Kelly and Ryan continues with the hosts conferencing in from home, not everything is business as usual in TV land. Kelly Ripa shared a mirror selfie of her gray roots after one week in COVID-19 quarantine. We're with you, Kelly. We'll all be embracing our natural beauty for the foreseeable future. Oh, yes, we will. You know, Kelly Ripa has really kept it real with us, showing us her Botox before she went on self-quarantine. I get a little help from the highlights. Jay, I think you have an edge on us because you're already rocking the natural hair color and you look wonderful, but uh, we'll see what we all look like on the other side of this. Yeah, give us a couple days. One thing that's going to be interesting is, of course, now with uh, all of the hair salons closed down, it won't be long before I, for one, start looking a little shaggy, and I'm ready for a haircut already. But uh, just one of the many inconveniences that we're all going to have to deal with as this continues to go on. Stephanie, thanks so much. We appreciate it.